Individual pressure is practiced in a restricted grid area in a 1v1 situation. The idea of pressure is if the ball travels, you travel. So if, if for example, Gally's receiving the ball from, from David, Alan makes the ground up as the ball's travelling. Good, well done, Alan. As he receives it, if I can make the ground up well enough to stop him turning, or to make him face up the wrong way, that's good news. So that's your first task if you can make it. Wait. Maintain that distance, Dave. And keep low. Well. Keep low. Well. Good lad. Well done. You forced him out. Well done. There. That's the ideal position there. And pressure from behind there. And if he moves that way, go, go towards it, then you move and maintain that distance. Get on. Get on. Hold. 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 Be patient. Be patient, good lad. And push him across the pitch. Go across. Go across. Then that's good. And the longer you do it, the better for the team. Well done, Dino. Well done. Pressure uh, is the key to good performance. Can you get your pass in, Reeves? Good, well done. If you're defending and pressuring from that distance, that will suit Alan Shearer. He'll get a shot away. But you know, the closer you can get and work him and maintain that distance and get his head down, the better for us. Good, good, Gally, excellent, excellent, Gally, excellent, excellent. Where is he? He's done his job. Even if Alan gets a pass in now, I'll it. He's done his job because he's held him up this boat for a little bit of time. In a well done, Alan. It's your willingness to do it. That's the mentality. That's what pressure plays about your mentality and the mentality of the team. If he does it, he better do it next. And he better do it so it goes through the team. Last couple of attempts. Last couple of attempts. <coughs> Just hold again. Work him again, Alan. Work him again. Good lad. Well done. Good pressure. I think the way that you stamp your authority on a game, particularly in the early stages of each half, can be without the ball as well as with the ball. And if you haven't got the ball, if you pressurise and work the opposition, then I think that that can give you a psychological lift, but also gives you the best chance of getting the ball back quickly in order to go and score a goal. principles initially are what we, we did in, in in the practice on pressure we're building into sound defending now but you're still gonna have to pressure the ball so as that first ball travels or any pass travels you've got to make the ground up to the man you're responsible for if the ball travels from Tony to Darren make the ground up as the ball travels Paul ready play and stop good that's ideal and likewise if the ball now travels back from Darren to Tony as that ball travels Alan you're making your ground up Go on, off you go, stop. And you can, that's it. So it's that sort of chain reaction as the ball travels. They should always, wherever possible, one of our players making the ground up to pressurise the ball. That's the start of good defending. We can build on that as we go along now. Good, well done, good defending. If uh, Darren beats Alan Shearer, you've got to be able to get across and, and add cover, okay? Similarly, if Darren decides to pass to Tony Hopper, yeah, you've got to be able to do that and stop. And Alan's reaction is excellent, because now he's thinking, I've got two jobs, I can't just stay with him, because if he stays with him, he'll get played in behind. Go on, make the ground up, good. Ah, that's good, you forced the error, that's excellent defending. Come forward, well done, well done. Pin! And good. Wait. Good, excellent defending, Darren Edmondson, outstanding. Just extending the last practice, we can now move into 3v3 defending. This situation is an ever-changing, fluid situation. Concentration and the mental approach is very important so that we can win the ball back 
in order to go forward and attack the opposition's goal. You've got two jobs. You've got to offer him some cover, but you've also got perhaps got to be responsible for him. So the question is, uh, is can I offer cover if he does go in behind Tony, but can I get across to Steve Hayward if the ball travels to him? So see if you can play the ball to him. Go on. And stop. Good. That's not too bad. Well done. So you've got them two jobs to deal with. Now you've got three jobs. You've got to offer cover to where the ball is. You've got to be responsible for that man. But what you've got to give us now as a defensive unit is some balance and cover. So you've got to be able to watch his runs, watch his movement, and watch his move. You've got to see everything to see the back defender. Wait! Close, Darren! Close, Darren! I'm going out! Don't run it, don't run it. Darren! Close! Darren! Go there! Go there! I'm going! Go there! Bring him inside! Sorry, Darren! 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 Yes! Good defending! I go! And stop, Tony, you could just have been a little bit quicker than pressuring the ball, couldn't you? Yeah. If the ball travelled, you could have got right down his throat and you were a little bit hesitant. So as that ball travels and you're the nearest one, get right down his throat and that's back to the 1v1 pressurising that we did earlier in, in practice. You've got to concentrate, you've got to be mentally prepared to defend and defend well.